we want to complete each ordered pair so that it is a solution for the given linear equation. Well, the linear equation is negative 4x plus 3y equals 7. If an ordered pair is a solution to an equation, it must satisfy the equation. And because our equation is using the variables x and y for each ordered pair, the x value is the first value and the y value is the second value. So if we want the ordered pair that has a known x value of 0 and an unknown y value to be a solution to the given equation, we need to substitute 0 for x and then solve the equation for y. So performing the substitution, we'd have negative 4 times x, which is 0, plus 3y equals 7. Well, negative 4 times 0 is 0. This equation simplifies to 3y equals 7. Solve for y, we divide both sides by 3. Simplifying, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 1 times y is y. Or just dividing by 3 undoes multiplying by 3, giving us y. So we have y equals 7 thirds which means the ordered pair 0, 7 thirds is a solution to the given linear equation. If you were to graph the line given by the equation negative 4x plus 3y equals 7, the ordered pair 0, 7 thirds would be the vertical intercept or y-intercept of the line. The next ordered pair has an unknown x value and a y value of 0. If we want this ordered pair to be a solution, then we need to substitute 0 for y and solve the equation for x. Performing the substitution, we would have negative 4x plus 3 times 0 equals 7. 3 times 0 is 0. The equation simplifies to negative 4x equals 7. Solve for x, we divide both sides by negative 4. Simplifying, dividing by negative 4 undoes multiplying by negative 4. The left side simplifies to just x. So we have x equals we have a positive divided by a negative, which is negative, and therefore x equals negative 7 fourths. So now we know the ordered pair negative 7 fourths comma 0 is a solution to the given linear equation. Again, in this case, if we were to graph the line given by the equation, the point given by the ordered pair negative 7 fourths comma 0 would be the horizontal intercept or x-intercept of the line. And then finally, for the last ordered pair, we know that the x value is negative 1. We have an unknown y value. In order for this ordered pair to be a solution, we'll need to substitute negative 1 for x and determine the corresponding y value. Performing the substitution, we'd have negative 4 times x, which is negative 1, plus 3y equals 7. Negative 4 times negative 1 is 4, so we have 4 plus 3y equals 7. This is a two-step equation. The first step is to add or subtract to isolate 3y, so we'll subtract 4 on both sides. Simplifying, this is 0. So we have 3y equals 7 minus 4 is 3. Last step, divide both sides by 3. Simplifying, we just get y equals 3 divided by 3, which equals 1. And therefore, the ordered pair negative 1 comma 1 is a solution to the given linear equation. Before we go, let's verify our work graphically. To verify our work graphically, we'll graph the line given by negative 4x plus 3y equals 7. And if we plot the points given by the ordered pairs, if the point is on the line, the ordered pair is a solution to the equation. If it's not on the line, it would not be a solution. And therefore, in this case, these three points need to be on the graph of this line if they're solutions. The blue line is a graph of negative 4x plus 3y equals 7. And notice all three points by the given ordered pairs are on the line. We have the point given by the ordered pair 0, 7 thirds, the point given by the ordered pair negative 7 fourths, 0, as well as the point given by the ordered pair negative 1, 1. And therefore, this graph verifies our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.